Good morning, everyone. It's been a while, but I'm back. It's Will the Roofer here, and you're watching Build of A&E. Come with me, and I'm going to show you what I'm doing on this one. I've got this verge to do. Obviously, one of my favourite things to do. I love a bit of pointing on the verge. It's awesome. Now it's time for the Diddy Verge. We're going to strip that, clean all that out, get all these ridges off, and start the process of making it look sexy. You see the nail hole on that there? Every tile going up now, you've got to nail it. This is what they've put on, okay? All they've done, see, is just put a little thin bit on. Sunglasses on, let's get cracking. So, it's been a while, been a little bit busy. Things going on with life and stuff, you know how it is. Let's get back to business. On this job here, in a beautiful place called Frankton, and it's absolutely stunning. Got the sunshine out today, which is perfect weather for what I'm doing. Gonna get to that in a second. Just wanna show you my view for the next few days. Of course, the beautiful wagon down there. So on this job, I've gotta do a verge and ridge repair. And if you look, it's not hard to see why. Some roofers came in, some cowboys, as we like to call it in the trade, and all they've done, effectively, is just face over the top of it. So yeah, I think you'll agree, it looks awful. It's all the way down. I've done it on the ridges as well. Just faced it up and it just looks awful. Just faced all that up. We don't like that. I've got to do this verge here. I've got to do that verge there. And we've also got to do that massive verge up there. And also follow inside those ridges across there and these ridges all the way down there. And like I do say, people, it's good to be back. Sun shining. Got my best buddy over there working with me today. Let's tidy this job up and make it look sexy. Let's get a time lapse going. So how we do this, you start at the top, take the first ridge off, just there. So I'm not stripping all them ridges off yet. There's no need to do that just yet. They are coming off, because I've got a little repair to do somewhere up there. So these ridges are coming off, but no point doing that just yet. I want to get these all cleared off. But the reason why I brought you here is to show you this. If you look, this is the new stuff. This is what they've put on, okay? So what they've effectively done is they just faced it up. So let me just show you this. So it just falls off. All they've done, see, is just put a little thin bit on. I mean, to be fair to them, there's a lot of cement in it and it's rock hard. If you can see, we've took that bit out, we've thrown that down, and then you can see what's just behind here. So this is all the old stuff here, look. So the last roofer should have came in, they should have done exactly what we're doing right now, and take these tiles off and cleared all this muck out, okay? And then re-bedded every single tile back onto the roof. If you look, what it's done, it's kind of like, it's like scarred the tile a little bit. See, it's a different color. See, it's a different color there. To that. So what we're going to effectively do is I'm going to get that tile there, you see? See how it's got a dirty edge? So we'll scrape all them little bits of, let's call them snots. I'm going to scrape them snots off. And I'm going to take this tile from this side here, and I'm going to take it, and then I'm going to put it onto this side here. So when you look at it now, you'll have the clean side, you see? Yeah, instead of it being that dirty side. So we're being that dirty side, we're gonna have the clean side, okay? So that's the plan. Lucky for us, on this side and on that side over there, what we've got is tile, tile and a half. So that allows us to just switch sides, yeah? So for example, if there'd have been a tiny little cut on this side here and a tiny little cut on that side there, you know for a fact it wouldn't have worked out and we'd have ended up having to cut tiles and things like that. And we really don't want to go and get some new tiles for this roof because as you can see, the tiles on this roof, they're already weathered in. So because they're weathered in, you don't really, if you get a new tile and stick a new tile on here, it's just going to stick out like a sore thumb, right? So we don't want to do that. So we're trying to save as many tiles as we can. That's the first verge, stripped out, cleaned out. See all these little dusty bits here? So we're just gonna give these a little sweep in a moment. So we're gonna clear that out, sweep the scaffold, and then we're on to the next verge. done the big verge, stripped that and cleared that. We've done the medium verge. Now it's time for the Diddy verge. 
We're gonna strip that, clean all that out, get all these ridges off, and start the process of making it look sexy. Sunglasses on, time lapse. Not a bad first day on the job, if I do say so myself. Didn't quite get all the ridges off up there, if you can see. We've got probably two thirds of the way across and we've got to stop. So what's left for me to do, stripping wise and clearing, it's just them ridges there and these ridges along there. Once that's done, then we can start doing the muck work. But anyway, that's it for Monday. Let's get wrapped up, tidy up, clean the site, get on the road. See you tomorrow. Happy Monday and I'm feeling fresh after my weekend adventures off the beaten tracks. Check us out on Instagram. Last week, we had a bit of a malfunction. I lost a bit of footage. So if you have a look here, I'll show you what progress I've had. I've ended up getting them ridges done all the way along there. I've got the verge done. We call it the medium verge. We've got that one done and we've got that little verge done just there. So basically what I've got left to do is these ridges all the way along here, all the way to the end and another three on the other side of that. Also got a little bit of pointing to do on that lead, just up there, just to tidy it up a little bit. Don't want to leave it like that. Also, what I've got left to do, I've got to take these ridges off here. We've got this massive verge on this side and on the other side, all the way down as well, still to do. So don't worry, there's going to be plenty of footage when we're getting this gable in and pointing up this verge. And I'll show you what we've done before. So anyway, plan for today is get these ridges, carry on getting them done. I've got my pillow, so if you're a roofer, you know why I've got this pillow. So yeah, going to get up there today, hopefully get the rest of them ridges done. Chance of some rain, we did have a thunderstorm through the night last night, which did wake me up. Got a little bit panicky, I must say, but everything seems okay. So yeah, going to carry on putting them ridges on, keeping one eye on that weather, and if it does rain, we'll cover them up. So yeah, that's the plan today, people. Time lapse. Right then, so a bit annoying. I didn't get them ridges finished yesterday. We had a few thunderstorms come rolling in. Nearly got caught out. I had to cover them up, wait for the cloud to blow over. And a little bit of pointing still to do, just a little bit, not too much. Obviously where I covered it over and when I pulled it off, it was obviously marked, you know? So I had to just point it up, make it all smooth again. So yeah, got it all the way done to there. All I've got left to do now is just these ones here. And then I'm gonna work my way down. Got a couple of broken tiles there. I don't know if you can see them. A couple down there in the valley as well. But then the next plan will be to get these ridges, take all these ridges off, and then rebed them ridges on, basically. And then last thing, I've got this verge to do. Obviously, one of my favorite things to do. I love a bit of pointing on the verge, it's awesome. But yeah, we just gotta tidy it up here, cut these timbers back just a little bit, and I'll tell you about that when I'm doing it. So yeah, that's the plan for today, nice and easy. Let's get cracking. Right then, that's the ridges behind me, all done. All the way down there. Just got them little bits done there. So the next plan is to get these ridges all in here, all stripped off, clean them all off, and we'll get them re-bedded on. All right, that's the plan now. Let's get down. Beautiful day. Another one of them days, you're glad to be a roofer. That's it for today. We managed to get all them ridges off. And if you look, you're gonna see that I've put an extra course in there. So what they did before, there wasn't enough cover with the ridge onto the tile. 
Uh, so what I've had to do, I've just had to put an extra course just on top of there, just so we've got plenty of cover with them ridges. So, got that done, got them ridges done up there. Okay, good morning. Nearly forgot to get the GoPro out, hence why I'm out of breath. I just legged it to the van, nearly missed it, but good old Jay reminded me. Right then, got me breath, right. So it's the last day today, fingers crossed, and the plan is to get this verge done on both sides. There's Jay. Yes, Jay. Going up and coming down. So that's gonna be the plan for today. We've got Jay on this side here, working down the bottom. He's already cracking on. Awesome, mate. He's only been out of it for a few years, but he's straight back into it. Chuck him in the deep end, that's what I say. I'm gonna get up this ladder now, and I'm gonna show you what we're doing. I've already made a start. So we've got the first one on here, so it's the eave. Then, so the next one's a tile and a half. Again, bedded to the bottom of that one there. And then we've got our next tile going on there. So it's not covering this tile, so this one's covering that tile. So you can see there. So I've already put my muck on there. You see the nail hole on that there? Every tile going up now, you've got to nail it. Now, if I put that in there, this tile is covering that. So all we've got to do is pray that that one's not a nail core. There we go. Okay, get your tile and a half. her in a little bit, make sure she's straight, and then we're gonna push it down. It's all loads of muck comes out of it, see it? Stick that one in there, scrape that off, a little bit, right. I'm just gonna run through how I do this. What you gotta do is gotta get your bucket of muck there, okay? What we're gonna do first is we're gonna roll some muck up, yeah? So just keep rolling it like that, you see? Keep rolling it, okay, like this, yeah? There's our verge there, so we're going to stick that on there like that. And I like to do that, okay? See, I'm just stroking it down, okay? Getting a good stick on here, yeah? Okay, and a little bit on there. Now we've got to do a little roll for this piece on here. Okay, and the same thing again. And then, you get your tile. So look at this muck. See all this muck here? All this muck now is pushing itself out, yeah? Next thing I'm looking at is the line. I wanna make sure that this tile is lined with this one below it, and the top corner here is in line with this non-asbestos soffit board just here, okay? So you see all this bellying out of here now? Then get a 40 mil nail. And we hammer that into there. Next thing, get your trowel. Just scrape it off, yeah? See, I've got a little bit of muck onto that tile, so I'm just gonna give it a quick little clean. It's not gonna be too bad. Cut that off as well. And then, I always do that. I don't know why, I just like to do it. And now all I've got to do now is repeat this process all the way up. Tile and a half next, nail it tile, nail it, and so forth and so forth, all the way to the top. Jay's doing it also on that side, I and mean, then hopefully we'll converge together and we'll meet at the top where I can get the ridge on and finish it with a nice little bit of a tile cut into a shape of a diamond. Beautiful. Right then, let's get you on a time lapse.
what's happening. Got this up, got a little bit to point there, that's left to do. And then what we're gonna do is, you can see I've got all that muck up there, there's tiles in that and everything, like I always do. And then we're gonna get this lovely little diamond bit of tile that Jay's just cut for us. And we're gonna stick that in the end, like you've seen on the other ridges round the side there. Right then, let's see what we got. Keep patting it down. So this is all level through here. You can see that I put a lot of muck in here. Get the bucket, the trowel, we're gonna scrape these sides off. I'm just gonna cast my eyes down it, down this side just to make sure it's straight. Got a little bit more. Okay then, so here we are at the end of the job now. It's all them ridges there, all the way along, all the way done. That little one done there. Today, I've come up this side here. Jamie, come up that side there. And we've come together at the top here. We've got them ridges on there. And then we've put that final ridge on just up there. So what I'm gonna do now is just get out this ladder. Just gonna touch her up a little bit. Keep touching it, it's gonna do my head in. Right then, so that's it, another job done. I've got to say, it's been good to be back and get another roofing video out for you guys. So, remember, like I mentioned before, if you wanna know what I get up to on the weekends, please check out Off The Beaten Tracks UK, and that's our Instagram page. It's the same for YouTube and TikTok. I'm Will The Roofer, and you're watching Build A&E. Have an awesome day, everyone. Take care.